Indian Americans or Indo-Americans are Americans with ancestry from India. The United States Census Bureau uses the term Asian Indian to avoid confusion with Native Americans. With a population of almost 4 million, Indian Americans make up 1.2% of the U.S. population and are the largest group of South Asian Americans and the second largest group of Asian Americans after Chinese Americans. The New York metropolitan area comprises the largest population of Indian Americans among U.S. metropolitan areas. In the Americas, the term Indian has historically been used for indigenous people since European colonization in the 15th century. Qualifying terms such as American Indian and East Indian were and still are commonly used in order to avoid ambiguity. The U.S. government has since coined the term Native American in reference to the indigenous peoples of the United States. But terms such as American Indian remain among indigenous as well as non-indigenous populations. Coincidentally, many Indian Americans are also of Native American descent. Since the 1980s, Indian Americans have been categorized as Asian Indian by the United States Census Bureau. While East Indian remains in use, the term South Asian is often chosen instead for academic and governmental purposes. Indian Americans are included in the census grouping of South Asian Americans, which includes Bangladeshi Americans, Bhutanese Americans, Nepalese Americans, Pakistani Americans, and Sri Lanka Americans. Beginning in the 17th century, members of the East India Company would bring Indian servants to the American colonies. The Naturalization Act of 1790 made Asians ineligible for citizenship. The first significant wave of Indian immigrants entered the United States in the 19th century. By 1900, there were more than 2,000 Indian Sikhs living in the United States, primarily in California. Emigration from India was driven by difficulties facing Indian farmers, including the challenges posed by the colonial land tenure system for small landowners and by drought and food shortages, which worsened in the 1890s. At the same time, Canadian steamship companies, acting on behalf of Pacific Coast employers, recruited Sikh farmers with economic opportunities in British Columbia. Racist attacks in British Columbia, however, prompted Sikhs and new Sikh immigrants to move down the Pacific Coast to Washington and Oregon, where they worked in lumber mills and in the railroad industry. Many Punjabi Sikhs who settled in California, around the Uber City area, formed close ties with Mexican Americans. The presence of Indian Americans also helped develop interest in Eastern religions in the U.S. and would result in its influence on American philosophies such as transcendentalism. Swami Vivekanand arriving in Chicago at the World's Fair led to the establishment of the Vedanta Society. Between 1907 and 1908, Six moved further south to warmer climates in California, where they were employed by various railroad companies. Some white Americans, resentful of economic competition and the arrival of people from different cultures, responded to Sikh immigration with racism and violent attacks. The Bellingham riots in Bellingham, Washington on September 5, 1907 epitomized the low tolerance in the U.S. for Indians and Sikhs, who were called Hindus by locals. While anti-Asian racism was embedded in U.S. politics and culture in the early 20th century, Indians were also racialized for their anti-colonialism, with U.S. officials pushing for Western imperial expansion abroad casting them as a Hindu menace. Although labeled Hindu, the majority of Indians were Sikh. In the early 20th century, a range of state and federal laws restricted Indian immigration and the rights of Indian immigrants. In the U.S. in the 1910s, American nativist organizations campaigned to end immigration from India, culminating in the passage of the Bard Zone Act in 1917. In 1913, the Alien Land Act of California prevented Sikhs from owning land. However, Asian immigrants got around the system by having Anglo friends or their own U.S.-born children legally own the land that they worked on. In some states, Anti-miscegenation laws made it illegal for Indian men to marry white women. However, it was legal for brown races to mix. Many Indian men, especially Punjabi men, 
married Hispanic women and Punjabi Mexican marriages became a norm in the West Bhigji Balsara. Became the first known Indian to gain naturalized U.S. citizenship. As a Parsi, he was considered a pure member of the Persian sect, and therefore a free white person. The judge Emile Henry Lacombe, of the Southern District of New York, only gave Balsara citizenship on the hope that the United States attorney would indeed challenge his decision and appeal it to create an authoritative interpretation of the law. The U.S. attorney adhered to Lacombe's wishes and took the matter to the Circuit Court of Appeals. In 1910, the C.